Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make use of Inker Studio to translate a comic chapter from one language to another. Now let's start translating. So I have this chapter that I want to translate from Chinese to English, and I didn't have Inker Studio to autofill in all the translation from me when I was uploading chapters. So this is what I'm going to see. On the left hand side, there is this original file panel with all the original text for reference when I'm translating. And this is my working canvas with empty bubbles so that I can fill in with my translation. So if, if I click on one bubble, I'm going to see this translation list right here with all the transcription from my original bubbles. I can either click on enter translation and type in my translation or I can make use of the auto translation right here by clicking on this button, use this translation. So. It is applied here and here from me already. But if I'm not happy with this option, I can always click on this button, use assistant for more options. This is the AI translation assistant and its job is to take in your transcription from the original bubble here, together with some of your inputs in terms of writing style, audience, context, and glossary to generate for you a number of options like this. So I'm going to click on Generate now. As you can see, it gives me five options. And if I want to use option one, I can either click Apply right here, or I can press one on my keyboard. Now let's say I want to switch to option two. I'm going to press two on my keyboard, and it's changed. Please remember that when it's inactive or dimmed down like this, you cannot make use of the keyboard shortcut. You have to click on it to activate these numbers. So now let's move on to the later bubbles. As you can see, because I have a 20 page chapter, so I have a lot of text that I have to fill in and I don't want to do it manually. So I can click on a bubble or hold shift while I'm clicking on, on multiple bubbles to select them and right click and choose auto fill translation to have auto translation filled in all these bubbles for me. But I can also do this. I can press on Command A or Control A on my keyboard to select all of the transcription and then use this autofill translation option. And now I can start rewriting them using the exact same techniques that I just showed you. If you have more questions, please drop them in the comment below so that we can address them in later videos. Thank you.